Hi, and thanks for joining me again. Today's topic is going to cover the uh, new elements to placing units uh, within the mission editor. Um, ED have given us some uh, visual context to it, uh, which makes placing things a little bit easier. So I'm just going to take you through that now. Now, there are two different processes, one for land-based units and one for naval-based units. I'll take you through the, the land-based um, scenario first. and we'll, What we'll do is we will place a static FARP in the middle of these trees. We will go to the static object selection, we'll change that to heliports, and we'll change this, we'll, we'll select a, a single helipad, um, just because of time constraints. I don't want to be building a four stage FARP with multiple units on it. There we are, we've placed the FARP, I'll rotate it to zero degrees so it's facing north, and now let's zoom in on it. As you can see, there's now a pictorial representation of the FARP itself. And when we rotate it, the picture moves in the direction that we rotate it. So that's excellent. At the minute, that only works for static objects. Uh, but I'll show you how it only works for static objects when I actually use certain units. What we'll do now is we'll place some... Uh, units on the actual helipad itself just to pan it out a bit we'll place some more statics what we'll do is we'll go to uh, ground vehicles and I want an RAF Land Rover and I'm going to place it there that angle seems to be okay for me as you can see the pictorial representation again of the Land Rover and the same again, it rotates in the direction that we send it. So that's cool. So that's that one. We'll place some people in here as well. Place some ground crew. Put him there. And I'll get him to face the helicopter as it spawns in. And then I want another one. Place him there, but this time round, I'm going to choose a different crewman. Let's have the dude with the hat, and he's facing the helicopter again there, so that's good. What I'll also do is I'll probably place some few barrels there. I know there are some here, but I want some under a camo net. In fact, no, we'll put scaffolding in there. Put some scaffolding in there. So that's utilised for repair of the helos. We'll put it there and we will rotate it like that. So that's good. And then what I'll do is I'll put a flyable helicopter in there. I'll use the trusty minigun version of the SA-342. Make it a client based, place it there. As you can see, there is a picture that appears underneath the FARP, but I'm sure that's one of the things that they'll fix in the future as well. So bear in mind it is in its infancy. What I want it to do is take off from parking hot, so therefore it will then center itself on the FARP pad. And that's that done. So now I'll show you that in mission. Okay, so now here we are in mission, and as you can see, everything is placed exactly where I put it. Now, prior to this um, this new 2D picture element being introduced, what you would have to do is go into the mission, check to see if it was facing the right way, see if everything fit, come back out of the mission, move it, go back in, see if the movement worked. So this is a heck of a lot better. Um, you'll notice at the moment that there are no barrels in this particular corner which means that we don't have any FARP vehicles, so that helicopter won't be able to rearm and refuel. So let's go and fix that now. So what I'll do now is I'll add the FARP vehicles. And I've already got set up um, a basic template. 
USA fart vehicles and I showed you how to do this in a previous video so if, you, if you're not quite sure go back to that video and watch that one uh, and you can create your own template. What I'll do is place that there. Now bear in mind that this template is made up of units that were created in ground units. So it's not a static object as these items were. So let me just show you what happens there. We do get a pictorial representation again, which is great. But as you can see, they don't face the direction that the actual units are facing. Whereas for a static, they do. So that's the only difference at the moment. Again, it's in its infancy. I'm sure this will get fixed. Uh, well, it's not even broken. <laughs> I'm sure. That, I think they'll just implement it. I think that's a better phrase. So there we have the fart vehicles, which means when we go into the mission, these fuel barrels and weapons will be should be in this corner, um, really highlighting that that is now a rearmable and refuelable FARP location for a helicopter. Let's go into the mission and I'll show you that now. As you can see, the barrels have now appeared in this corner because we've put these FARP vehicles in over here. And as I mentioned, that designates the FARP as a rearming and refueling point. Okay, for naval units, the first step in the process is to actually go to add or modify a ship group. So we'll click on that. What we'll do is we'll put the latest vessel in, which is the Stennis. We'll put that there. We'll zoom in on it. And I'll turn off the satellite view. Put Alt on. That cleans it up a bit. Now what we want to do is we want to put static aircraft on the deck. So let's start with that now. Let's go to Static Objects, USA, let's say we want helicopters in there in the first instance. What I want to do is put a CH-53 on the deck. Put that there. And as you can see, it's put it on the deck. And what we need to do, which is slightly different to the uh, land-based, is link it to the Stennis. So, that will be Unit 13, which is this here and we've put on offset fixation so that it appears on top of the deck. As you can see, it's instantly put it to the central location, that central spot there. Don't worry about that for the time being. Now what we do is we can click on the helicopter and move it. So we'll put it on that ramp there. We'll rotate it like so. And that should be it done. Let's go into the mission and see that on the deck. Here we are in mission and there's the helicopter, the static helicopter, placed on the deck. And placing statics for the ships is that simple now. It will place it on the centre of the deck uh, in one location and then you can click on it and move it to where you'd like it to be.